Good morning, friends. Welcome to Lug Life. Welcome to our Princess Cruise Day 3. Mm -hmm. Today we're in Ketchikan, Alaska. We pulled in early this morning. Um, we were just kind of getting started, getting our day going, getting up and about. We just had food and coffee delivered to our room, which... That's so nice. <laughs> <sighs> I could get used to this. So, welcome to Ketchikan. So excited for what we have today. But here's what I'm so excited for right now. We got coffees. Sherry went with an Ameri... No, wait, what'd you go with? French vanilla latte. That's right, French vanilla latte. I got a butter pecan latte. And then for food, we got a fruit plate. We got another fruit plate. And then like a... It's like a breakfast sandwich. Think like... Think Egg McMuffin. And I love that they give you the all sorts of different... Uh, sweeteners, sugar, and then of course, silverware. So, I think we are going to sit in bed, drink some coffee, okay. eat breakfast, and get our day going. All right, friends, here's the view from the balcony this morning in Ketchikan, Alaska. Beautiful, and actually, today's a rare day because most days in the Ketchikan, you cannot see the top of this mountain. It's almost always covered in fog, uh, covered in clouds, but we get an entire view of the mountain this morning. We are just heading off the ship, leaving the gangway out into the town of Ketchikan, Alaska. Here we go. So we are exiting on deck number five. You can also exit on deck number four over there where it's just like a ramp. These are metal stairs. We've been all over Alaska. Mm -hmm. Your first time in Ketchikan though. Yeah. You excited? Yes. So you can see, as soon as you get off the ship here, they have a number of little booths selling excursions, rainforest walk, bear tours, wildlife adventure tours, all sorts of different things. This is the line for like the princess excursions. So we just crossed the street. We're heading to Woodlands Clothing, the store that our friend Spring owns, to go check it out, meet her in person. She's gonna be our tour guide to take us around Ketchikan today but we just turned around and got a pretty awesome view of the Royal Princess. All right, this is super surreal that we are actually getting to walk in to Woodlands and there is spring, oh my gosh. This is one of the coolest things to actually be in here, get lost in the right direction. I just love all of spring's designs. Um, Sherry and I obviously live here in Alaska and I have to say, Woodlands, is one of the best, 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 like design apparel companies in the entire state. If you're in Ketchikan and you're looking for just like unique things that actually are local, stop by here. And here's the thing, designed by Ketchikan artist, and they also print it here locally in Ketchikan. It's so cool. I, of course, already have like two hats. Sure, you wanna take the top one so I can show them? Yes. <laughs> I love it. It's not just apparel and hats and shirts and stuff. They also have like jewelry, there's necklaces. You can see earrings here. I actually really like these uh, these leather keychains. Very cool. They even have blankets, lots of kid stuff. This actually is one of my favorite things in the entire store. Humankind, be both. Be human, be kind. So we just left, we're walking away from Woodlands, walking down to like the main downtown area, which you can see here, but wanted to stop to get some photos of this. Look how cool this is. Absolutely love that. It's kind of got that, that totem look to it with the eagle and the wings there. So we just got to the famous Welcome to Alaska's First City Ketchikan. And the reason Ketchikan is the first city is not because it was the first city in Alaska. It's because it's the first city you come to when you visit Alaska, like on a cruise ship. It's the first city you come to up Southeast Alaska. It's also the salmon capital of the world. All right, so we drove probably 15 minutes outside of Ketchikan. We are in Herring Bay and we're actually gonna go, I think over there next. Look at how cool this is. They're just telling us that the King Salmon Hatchery is right up there. You guys can see the water pouring out there. And I guess they see bears here from time to time. How crazy would that be? So you can see this place that Spring and Jeremy brought us out to. We were the only ones here when we got here. But now there are 
lots of people. The trolley came out here. All right, friends, we are just a little bit outside of Ketchikan Spring, and Jeremy brought us to a place called the Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary. And we're so excited today because we get to bring you guys along, and they have unbelievable totems around here. The area we're seeing is already just absolutely stunning. And so we're excited to show you guys around. Uh, I'm gonna link all of the information down below for you guys to check out if you're coming to Ketchikan and you wanna see this place that we are about to check out. But I see something over here that's kinda cool. Bill Frost blacksmithing, hand forged in Ketchikan like knives. Look at this, like they're being made all right here. Heck yes. It's one of the first things we're seeing here is this group of five totems. And Jeremy was just telling us that actually Kevin, who is the main carver here that we're gonna get to see today, uh, his uncle is the one who carved all the totems here. And these are just so stunning. I just, totems are one of my favorite things. The art, the craftsmanship, the storytelling, absolutely stunning. You can see each one of these has different signs in front of them. So beautiful. And then lots more totems around as we go. This was the Herring Bay Lumber Company and it closed, I guess, in 2002. Yeah. They were saying that basically the owner of the lumber company died and then, um, and then the workers stopped getting paid. And so everybody just left. So he just told us that basically the only things that have been changed in here is that the floors were touched up, the ceilings obviously, and then they added this wall because this was wide open. And the reason that it was open is so that they could hoist the logs right up this ramp from the water up here into the mill. Down here at the end, they have some examples of different kinds of trees. We have some hemlock, yellow cedar, Sitka spruce, and sherry bath. You want to stand next to that just for size height comparison? It's a big tree. So you can see actually working on a totem here. And it's gonna be called the origin of the raven. And this is what it will look like. It was so cool getting to see Kevin actually doing the carving on a new totem, especially thinking about you know, like his family having done the carvings around the park. Absolutely amazing. Sherry Beth, what'd you think about that? That was really cool. It's so neat because like, I feel like a lot of times we get to see the finished product. Like we get to see the totems when it's done, right. but we never get to see it in process. Right, that was amazing. It's really cool. One of the things they have here that we are not doing today is the zip line up here. Sherry Beth, wait. Hard pass. <laughs> nope. Sherry. No. Sherry. Absolutely not. Sherry. Oh, sp <laughs> spring winds. Spring winds. Longer wingspan than Sherry or Lacey. So they also have the Alaska Raptor Center here. I had no clue they had this. And this is actually a to scale bald eagle nest. Five foot or more, sometimes he was just saying. And this is crazy. I did not know all of this was here. Look at this. Sitka's got a couple injuries. She's got a small hole in one of her wings, but she can still fly. Her big issue is she's missing her back toe on her right foot called a halix, huh. which makes it really hard for her to catch food and even stand when she has caught something. So we're out here on the boardwalk right now. That's the building we were in just a few minutes ago. You can see actually the area they would bring the logs up from. And it's pretty cool because look at this. We have bald eagles just like flying all over there's one there there's one there there's one there there's one there like this is this is insane and they were saying that they have bear in fact we passed some bear scat just a minute ago because of the hatchery because like everything just kind of happening right in here man got a couple of these eagles up here just flying above us just kind of playing around with each other so Amazing to watch. So you can see there's a seal right here in the estuary swimming up. It was so funny because Spring just like walked over to the edge and I could see she was looking at something and then she was like, seal, not the singer. You can see we're all just kind of hanging out, watching the seal, which is now like right up here 
I don't know if you guys can actually see the seal swimming under the water. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> this is so crazy. We're just walking into like the rainforest sanctuary area. This is one of the most beautiful and peaceful places I've ever been. And I just want to show you how crazy it is. Like the branches off of this are just like all twisty and turny and whimsical. And they do have bears back in here. And they did say that, that like, just so you know, this is, this isn't like a protected area. Like there's legit bears that just wander through here. So keeping our eyes out while trying to take it all in. So I didn't really know what to expect when we came out here, but one of the things that I've really liked is just the variety of things in what's relatively a small area. Remember we had like the carving area over there. We got to see a lot of that. We have the boardwalk here where we got to see a seal. There's lots and lots of salmon here. Apparently later in the summer, like July, August, they see a number of bears. In fact, the guy who's given us our tour today said that he has seen eight bears at one time from right here, which is nuts. But then you go back into like the rainforest area and it's like an entire different environment. And we got to experience all of that right here in this one area. I'm so glad we came out here because you know, our time in Ketchikan, this was actually the shortest port time uh, that we had, the time in any port. And so on one hand, it's like, oh man, what are we gonna be able to do in the time that we have? And I feel like coming here helped us check off a bunch of things in a short period of time. So this, this is perfect. And I think Sherry Beth has been loving all of the photographs here as well. The seal, where's the seal at? Has it been kissed by a rose? <laughs> okay, so this is kind of crazy. Um, there's a eagle right here. And so we're just kind of trying to be quiet. <laughs> just so nervous. <laughs> Holy cow. And it's crazy because like there's a seal in the background, like a little seal head in the water, yeah. an eagle right here. Dang. <sighs> it's crazy, we've been here for several minutes and the eagle's moved location and just kind of hopped down the boardwalk a little bit. But he's still just totally hanging out here for us. Yeah. It's crazy, oh, look at that, he's like, Justin's out here filming and that eagle is totally just like, hey, what are you doing? <sighs> oh, if that eagle takes your phone, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> it's crazy because I feel like a lot of places we go in Alaska where we get to see stuff like this. It's at like the Wildlife Conservation Center where you can get close, but you know, it's still in a controlled environment. And then you see something like this and you realize that like this is the wild. There's just seals swimming around and an eagle, which is right here. So we have to get to lunch. And so we're just gonna leave this guy, but we probably stood here. I bet we were here for 10 minutes just watching. So we're back here, the main area. There goes our tour guide. He was absolutely amazing. One last look at the totems, <laughs> this place blew my mind. So glad we came here. Again, such a huge thank you to the Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary uh, for having us. This was, uh, this was amazing. Uh, again, I can't recommend this enough. That experience with the eagle, the experience of getting to walk through the rainforest, getting to walk out on the boardwalk. Um, we're leaving Ketchikan feeling like we got to experience uh, some of the local culture with the carvings and the totems, getting to see some of the local area. And I will say this makes me just want to come back here. I don't feel like I can like check catch can off the list. This is just like giving me a taste to want to come back here and experience more of this town. But this was spectacular. And they do have a gift shop here as well. And you know, any gift shop that has Sasquatch stuff, definitely okay with me. Also, look at all the different stickers. All right, for lunch, we are here at the 108 Tap House and Burger Bar. Look how awesome this is. Now, we're feeling kind of special because they're actually not open 
today, but they opened for us just to have lunch here. So here's what their menu looks like. Um, you can see they have all sorts of starters, some things that look really amazing, the Alaska Charcuterie Board, reindeer sausage, salami, local called blue seafoods, very cool. Salads, tacos, I actually got the traditional Indian tacos, excited for that. Um, all sorts of burgers. Sherry, do you remember what you got? I think I got the blue cheese burger. So that is, boom, right there. Lots of burgers, sides, desserts, and then of course, cocktails. All right, keep in mind our actual food hasn't even gotten here yet. These are like fries, gravy, bacon, just heaven, essentially. We have an entire platter of cheese curds. What's not to love about that? And then this is their Alaska charcuterie board. I showed you guys this on the menu. We've got smoked salmon, there's some reindeer sausage, there's kelp pickles, look at all the crackers and cheese. This is amazing. I'm so excited for this. So our food is here. Look at the Indian taco, and you guys, some of the fry bread, like, I could just eat the fry bread. <laughs> Very excited for that. Sherry went with the blue cheese blue burger. burger. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Also, the fries, we already know because we've had a whole batch of them already covered in gravy. <laughs> Delicious. I think we have finished our meals. Well, we didn't finish them because no. so, much food. so much food. Appetizers were amazing. Portions were spectacular. How was your burger? It was really good. Yeah? It was huge. It was huge. Um, I think that I did pretty good on my Indian tacos. These were spectacular. Everything, like literally everything we had, perfect. We just left um, lunch, which again, spectacular. And um, just kind of walk in here through downtown. Here's Whale Park. What is Sherry doing? Getting photos. Uh, these are all over town and they're beautiful. They're so pretty, and look at this, another totem. That's one of the best things about Catch Can is just all over town, these totems. All right, so one of the most famous places in all of Catch Can, historic Creek Street. It's one of the things that people think about the most when they think of Catch Can. So we couldn't get back on the ship before coming here and seeing it. It's such a unique area. I mean, where else do you see basically like a downtown that is built on piers like this. So this used to be like the red light district where a lot of the brothels were, um, all the kind of things like that. And so Spring was telling us that um, they'd, you know, wait until the tides were, were low and they'd bring their boats here up Creek Street and that a lot of these businesses actually would have even had like trap doors underneath them where they could like sneak in liquor. In fact, here's one of the information signs that says, bootlegged booze, loose women, hot music, and rowdy customers. This is one of Ketchikan's oldest uh, buildings and the territory of Alaska's only registered brothel. Very interesting. There's lots of different gift shops and stores and restaurants and stuff here on Creek Street. And so we're just kind of walking the boardwalk, checking stuff out. As a final look at historic Creek Street as we head out, we have about 30 minutes until we have to be back on the ship. So I think we're going to say goodbye to Spring and Jeremy soon and head back to the Royal Princess. But here you go. One last look. Spring and Jeremy just dropped us off back at our ship. We've got our bags with our purchases from Woodlands. I got Sherry. We got the Zachmans. <sighs> back to our floating home. Here we go. Back on board. Okay, we're back out here on the balcony. And uh, you can see some boats out on the water. We are going to be leaving here, I think, half an hour or so. Pretty cool, you can see a float plane just landing right in front of us there. How awesome is that? All right, Sherry Beth. Let's... She dropped her phone. Let's talk Ketchikan, Alaska. Uh -huh. um, your first time here. Yeah. And it's always hard when you visit on a cruise ship or for just a few hours to say that you've been somewhere. Yeah. But what, what are your thoughts on your first visit to Ketchikan? Um, it's really beautiful. Yeah. And um, 
it just, I, don't, I had a great time. Like, I, I obviously there's things we weren't able to do because we did have a limited time. But like the things we did, I think gave us a good like taste of what Kendrick Cave does. Hundred percent, I agree. Um, I felt like having Spring and Jeremy like locals be able to take you around was super helpful. Yeah. Um, I think I mentioned this at the Rainforest Sanctuary. I loved that we got a taste of several different kinds of things there. Yeah. Right? Like, we got to see, like, the seals swimming in the ocean. We got to see that, like, rainforest kind of, well, rainforest. I was going to say right. scene, right. but it's a legit rainforest. Right. Uh, to watch the carving happen. Yeah. Um, eagle. The eagle. Just so many things in that one location. Yeah. That that's one of the things that made today was how spectacular that was. Mm -hmm. Um getting to meet spring uh, and jeremy finally yeah crazy um <laughs> obviously you know spring somebody that we've just grown a close connection to ever since the start of shop 49th um yep. she kind of became the poster child for the impact that that could have and yep. she was just vocal about the importance of the, what we were doing and the yeah. difference that it made and she championed something that we had made um and I'm just really thankful for the friendship we have. Yeah. So it was so cool. Um, <laughs> this was spectacular. We lucked out with the weather. Yeah, it, it rained a little bit, but like not bad. And we all had our rain jackets anyway, just in case. Mostly it was like overcast and, and the sun would peek out every once in a while like it is now. It's just, it was beautiful. <sighs> Great day. Yeah. Got to spend it with Justin and Lacey. It was fun to get to watch. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's fun to get to experience things like together, but it's fun to get to experience them with friends too. Yeah. And so I just, I cannot imagine how um, a few hours in one city could have been better. I agree. Yep. Spectacular. So leaving here in just a little bit, and um, I think we're going to sit out here on the balcony and watch the ship pull away from Ketchikan. So mm -hmm. we'll show you guys all that. We did buy an absolute ton of stuff from <laughs> from Woodlands. Got that hat. I've got this hat that I'm wearing now. And then basically an entire bag full of amazing stuff. Yep. <sighs> I love it. Yeah. All right. So we're sitting outside and um, <laughs> just kind of waiting for the boat to leave. <laughs> and Lacey's like, uh, we're moving. You can't hear anything. There's no engine. There's no... There was no horn, like nothing, nothing. And yeah, we're, uh, we're leaving Ketchikan. You see one of the Ketchikan harbors over there with all the boats and we're coming up over here. I'll show you as we pass the terminal for the Alaska Marine Highway System. You can see there's those two boats right there. Uh, Alaska has a ferry system. It's a state run ferry system that services from Southeast Alaska all the way over to like Kodiak, Whittier, and a lot of people who live in this part of the state especially, it's a lifeline because, you know, airplane prices are expensive and hard to get. And so the marine highway system is sort of the, one of the main modes of transportation to get from island to island and town to town here in Alaska. You can actually see a plane taking off right here. It's gonna be about eye level with us as it passes. So here's a real unique thing about Ketchikan, Alaska, is that the town, all over here, this area over here, this is the airport. You can actually see, maybe you can see, there's an Alaska Airlines airplane tail over there. So you fly into the airport, and obviously there's no bridge, like you can't get to the town. And so you actually have to take a ferry from the airport over to the town. So you rent a car, you pick it up over there, you load it onto a ferry, and then you go to Ketchikan. Isn't that so strange? Well, we laid down for a little bit and took like a, what would you say, Sherry, like a half an hour nap? Yeah. Little quick nap now, heading out for the evening. All right, Sherry, you ready for the first time in the casino for you? Yep. I won big last night, so uh, let's see if we can keep that going. I gotta say, Sherry liked the little good luck charm. Uh, started with, 40 bucks. Now up to 150. Sherry. <laughs> it is dinner time. We are here at the Allegro dining room and we have not even been here before. This is a completely new part of the ship. We have not even seen. You can see quite the view from dinner tonight. We just sat down here at our table and it is Italian night. 
at the Allegro dining room. See fresh baked breads, wines, uh, starters, prosciutto and melon. It's actually one of my favorite, favorite things. Eggplant parm, an iced peach bellini soup. Wow. Spaghetti and meatballs, wild mushroom lasagna. You can see lots and lots of great things. Oh, sauteed shrimp and sea scallops. That probably is calling Sherry Beth's name. Sherry and I went with the exact same appetizer. We both got prosciutto and melon. One of my very favorite things. Um, I do wish I had a little bit of balsamic. Maybe I'll ask for that. All right, I'm the one who uh, is the odd man out in this one. All three of them got the French onion soup, mm -hmm. which is super so good. I know I had it the first night. It's like, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want French onion soup to be. I went with minestrone and I don't know why. Like I love this, but after seeing the French onion soup, I regret getting this a little bit. All right, dinner is here. I went with the scallops and shrimp and it looks spectacular. Just went with the fettuccine alfredo, and you added chicken to the top. Nice. Lacey went with rockfish. Love that. One of our favorites. And Sherry. Spaghetti and meatballs. Very classic Italian. We all did so good on our dinners, and there was a couple that was sitting over here next to us. They've left. Had a great conversation with them about Alaska and cruising and all sorts of other stuff, actually. Um, desserts. We have tiramisu. I can't pronounce some of that stuff, so you can see it. <laughs> and then they have the lemon meringue cheesecake, the vanilla bean creme brulee, a pear flambe. Wow. Oh, what to get? It's dessert time. I went with the build your own sundae because I'm a child. I got chocolate gelato, strawberry chocolate syrup, whipped cream. Sherry went with the lemon meringue. It's blurry. Mm -hmm. That looks like a sherry dessert. Yep. <laughs> Without a doubt. And Lacey went with the love boat, the mm -hmm. dream love boat thing. Um, it's one of the desserts they have every night, and it looks amazing. It came as like a heart. Mm -hmm. Justin is eating his vanilla sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> that went in his souffle. I'm not judging because I did that two nights mm -hmm. ago. So mm -hmm. we're the same. Same people. The food here was spectacular and it is an absolutely beautiful restaurant as well. Holy cow, look at that table back there, you guys. Dang, Lacey, why didn't you get us seats there? All right, so we just finished dinner and we are heading outside because we want to see the fountain show. Um, except I can already tell, you don't want to be on the side of the fountain show where the wind is. So this is a fountain show, oh gosh, set to Michael Jackson, the princess watercolor fantasy fountain show. You guys, this is like the coldest thing we've done on the cruise. I wanna go over the sea walk, cause I have not done this while we are, oh my gosh while we are cruising at sea. I did it in the port. So pretty. But you guys look at the view as we sail here through Southeast Alaska. The sun just setting, still a little bit of color in the sky. Pretty amazing. From Michael Jackson outside freezing at the fountain show to Elton John inside the Princess Theater. Uh, so we have next is um, a tribute to Sir Elton. Um, Elton John fun fact. Sure, you have seen Elton John how many times? First. The first time you saw him was where? In Germany. And the second time we saw him together? In Anchorage. In Anchorage. Uh, both shows were rare because he, both shows that I've been to, he did not have his full band with him. It was just him and his piano. Which apparently back then is not something he did a ton of. Right. Um, so we're Elton John fans. Fingers crossed. This is good. This guy's good. Well, a very good evening and welcome to the Princess Theatre for Showtime. Tonight's performance captures Sir Elton John's most celebrated music. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. How much that
heading out of the Princess Theater after the Elton John show. Now I think we are off to TV music trivia. So we are now in Princess Live, which is the venue that they actually filmed like the morning show in, which I think is kind of cool. And it is, uh, it is TV themes trivia. So you can see not many people here, but I'm sure it will fill up. We've got our area back here. And Sherry, mm -hmm. are we gonna win? I have no idea. That, no, you're supposed to say yes. Oh yes, yes. Okay, that's better. <laughs> All right, we are three <laughs> answers in, and we're three for three. So, 20 questions. We got 19 of them correct. Amazing. So, let's see how we did. Well, we didn't win. We got 19. A couple teams got 20. All right, Sherry Beth, we are done with our day back in our stateroom. Mm -hmm. And let's kind of wrap this up. Give me your highlight for today. Catch you can. Just being able to explore and meet um, Spring and Jeremy. Like that was just, it was a ton of fun and everywhere they took us. It was fascinating. I loved it. Ditto. Um, <laughs> I will say that was great. Dinner was really good. Mm -hmm. All of us had really good meals. Um, just being honest, the first day or so, the food wasn't the best. Yeah, we were a little bit worried because it was it was just not good. It's getting better, <laughs> which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, today was a ton of fun. Just a really nice day. Tomorrow we are in Juneau. We have some super fun things planned. Yep. I'm um, really excited for tomorrow. So friends, we are going to go ah, to sleep yeah. and rest. Yeah. And we're going to wake up in the capital of the state of Alaska, Juneau, one of our very favorite cities. Yeah, I'm excited to explore Juneau more, but also explore Juneau with Justin and Lacey get to take them to places that we love. Friends, we love you guys. Thanks for watching uh, this video. Thanks for watching this whole cruise series. It's also fun because we've met several of you. Yeah. There was a guy in the theater tonight that stopped us and he was like, wait a second. <laughs> I recognize your purple hair. I recognize, yeah. <laughs> I've seen your vlogs. <laughs> and then he was really funny because he saw actually one of our recent videos and was talking yeah. about it. So it's been fun to meet a lot of you guys. So we love you and we'll see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life video.